All right, we're back, and it's um, we're at uh, Comp 391, and it's uh, Week 10, Lesson 10, Part 3. And what we're doing is we're building up a um, a, uh, a 2D game with Blender, right? Using the same kind of concepts we used before uh, with our character, right, and everything else. Okay, so two things to do first. I've talked about this GitHub.com. I've made a 2D, 2D game repository on GitHub for you guys, which includes, if you look in the assets folder, um, all the assets that you have for your character. Now this character is kind of a really funny looking character. He's got a couple of animations going on. Um, one of them is this idle state animation that goes for 24 frames. Then you have a jump animation uh, that goes uh, from here to about uh, uh, 6 frames. And then his walk animation goes for about uh, 15 frames. Okay. We're not going to use all of these animations today. We're going to continue this thing off next week for the animation piece. But what I want you to do is get this piece now. Okay, so let's bring up our cube. Here it is. And what I want to do with a cube, are you guys with me? Cube. All right. What I want to do is I want to create a texture for this cube, right, so that I can put some of this idle, I want to put an idle state, and I want to put a uh, different states on different faces. Okay, so first things first, we need um, some kind of material. So here's my material, and my material for my cube um, is going to be called, um, uh, we'll just call uh, the first material idle. Okay, so there's my idle material. And uh, my idle material is not going to have any specularity to it. I'm going to turn my specularity off. I'm going to make this also shadeless. So it's going to be my first material. It's not going to have any shade to it at all. It's not going to receive lighting at all, right? And now what I need to do is add in a texture. Okay, so here's my texture. And um, I, in my texture itself, I want to rename this texture so it's also called idle. Right, so idle. And I want to choose image or movie for my texture. Image or movie, right? Now it's going to wrap the entire cube right now, right? Um, we don't have to make it wrap the entire cube. Remember, we can apply our texture and our material only part of the cube. We can wrap other pieces to the other parts or hide the other pieces or whatever, right? But for now, what I want to put is my idle state in my front. Now, if you notice, if I go to uh, the front part of my of my cube, so I'm just going to kind of bring up my little keyboard here for those people that are here with me. And there's my the front part of my cube, right? I want to apply my texture to this. So if you notice, my front I have my right point, my right arrow, uh, red arrow pointing to the right, and my green arrow pointing to the top. Um, so when I look at it, my this is how I'm going to see my my cube. This is in fact how I'm going to do my 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 uh, 2D stuff. We'll talk about this in a second. So this is where my idle state is going to be saved right here. My idle character is going to appear in front of me, right? Okay. So what I want to do, I've chosen image or movie, and I want to choose open, right? And I want to choose my desktop. And inside there, I'm going to choose 2D game. And inside 2D game assets, I'm going to choose my first idle state, which is idle 0001. And then I'm going to press open image. Okay, now this is what it looks like. Take a look. Here's my little guy, right? All right, um, this is cool, but it hasn't been unwrapped. And in order for me to unwrap this guy and put him on this face, I've got to choose, I'm going to go into edit mode and then press U for unwrap and then select um, unwrap. Now, for me to see this guy, I'm going to go into material mode, and I'm going to go into Blender game, and I'm going to choose my, from Blender game, I'm also going to change my multi-texture mode and shading to GLSL, right? And you're going to say, hey, Tom, I don't see anything. How come he's, he's unwrapped? Oh, there he is. Look, he's unwrapped, but I've got him on two sides. I run him on the bottom, and, but I don't see him in the front or the sides. He's only on one side, right? How come he's like this? Right, so I've got this happening. Right? Do you guys have this? Okay, so let's look at the top. I'm just gonna look at the front. So here's my front, and I have them on the top and the bottom, but not on the sides. Right? Well, remember what's happening here is I have a cube, right? I don't care for him to be on the other sides. All I care for is my idle state is for him to be on the front. Okay, so let's go to um, and there's a problem to this, by the way. There's a problem with this idle state we're gonna get to. Um, I'm going to go to um, the uh, um, a different view. So I'm going to go from here to my UV editing mode, right? 
and this is my cube. Make sure that I have my uh, texture on so I can see that he's, look at where he's at right now, that his image is on the top, and I want to put him here. So I'm going to kind of pull up um, his picture. Here's the picture of this guy, right? And if you notice, he is currently on the top of my, of my cube, right? Now remember, my top has many sides to my, my cube has many sides to it. It's not just one cube. Let's try this again. So let's show you what, what, what I'm doing. I'm going to go here, right, over here. And when I unwrap, I'm going to unwrap reset. So this is just going to reset everything, right? And then I'm going to unwrap, and I'm going to unwrap, I'm going to do a smart UV pr project and just do it again. Now look at these things that I've got over here. Right? I've got a bunch of these, these, uh, um, these objects. Right. All I care about is for the face. This is all my faces. One, two, three, four, five, six faces. Right. All I care about to project is on the face that's on my front. So how do I do that? I gotta go to uh, deselect all. Right. And I gotta look at just my front face. So I'm gonna go to uh, um, control tab, and I'm gonna hit uh, faces. And I'm going to select my front face. This is my front face which is right here, and I'm going to make it this thing, this only my front face, so it takes up my entire uh, uh, cube, right? And the way to do that, of course, um, is to uh, project just my front face so it's, it's got this in there, right? That's one way. Or, right? Or, or, or. And I would, I would spend a lot of time doing that. I can make, I mean, I can select this thing, I can make it grow, and I can move it so it kind of matches up with my cube approximately. Right, and it's a lot of work. Um, I can deselect all, and then do a B select button and move this over across uh, G along the X axis and kind of move it over. What was that? That what? Where? Oh, here. Control. Where? Oh, Pack Islands. Yeah. yeah it'll, it'll basically, yeah, it'll, it'll uh, uh, basically surround everything, right? You could do that, right? But look, what's, how come it's rendering like this? Look how it's rendering. It's still rendering on the top and on the bottom, right? Okay, that's the problem. Even though I've, I've told it to render where it's rendering, right, there's my UV map. And the reason for this is because if I go to... Um, uh, select the other ones. So I'm going to select another one here. You watch. This one is here, right? It's in this transparency area. Okay, so let's leave it this way, right? Now we go back to this piece. I'm going to go back to my uh, default, right? And right now I'm still not seeing things in the front because of the way I've got it done. I'm going to change a couple things here. One, I'm going to go back to my material and scroll all the way down. And on this material, I'm going to choose transparency, right? And under my transparency, I'm going to change my alpha to zero. So here's my alpha, go right to zero. Okay. And the same thing goes with my um, my material. I'm going to go to my material. I'm going to scroll all the way down, and where it says alpha here, I'm going to put this alpha to one. Okay. So now what I got is this. I can see my characters transparent on two sides. Also, my mapping is generated. I want it to be UV. And I want to change my map to my UV map. Okay, so look what I got here. I got one guy. So I'm going to go to my front. I got one guy, but my, my front UV looks like this. Right? Take a look. So I guess this is my front now. I'm going to go do this all again in a second, people. Don't worry if you missed it. And when I change to, um, when I change to UV editing mode, right? Uh, if I go to my front screen, here's my front. It looks like it's... Um, it is, if I select it, I need to um, rotate my object 90 degrees, right, if you notice, 90 degrees to the right. So I'm going to go rotate on this side, I'm going to go rotate, right, uh, 90 degrees. Oh, sorry. Rotate on the, uh, uh, what do call it, minus 90 is what I said, is what I meant. There it is. So now this is the right uh, uh, proportion. The problem is I have these other sides here. I have this one. Right, which is the back piece. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move this over, over here into a blank area. Right. And the same thing for the bottom. I have this bottom one. 
right and move this, I'm going to select G and move this over to the back blank area. And the same thing for the top, I've got the top one, and I'm going to move this over by pressing G to blank area. And I got this other one over here, right, and I move this one over to this blank area over here. Okay, so now when I look at it from my top or my front view, I only have this one. This is what my cube actually looks like now, look. So I've got no, nothing on the right or the left. Do you mean to try this again? Show this one more time? Okay. Are you following or are you doing something else? Huh? Let's do it again. One more time. All right. Let's start a new project. So I'm going to file, new. Let's see this one more time. I'm recording this too. So just in case you guys have. So I've got my cube. Right? All right. And I need to add in, um, I need to go to my texture. Go. Sorry. First go to my material. Material first. Okay. My material, I'm rename this material as idle. Right? There it is idle. Idle. Right? And my material. I need to go into my texture now. Texture. And I want to rename the texture idle. This is the state that I'm in. Right? Okay. And now um, the texture from type. I'm going to move from none to image or movie. And then I'm going to go to open. And I'm going to select my inside my uh, my textures, which is on my in my case is my desktop. Uh, where is my desktop? Here's my desktop on my under my 2D game in my assets. I'm going to choose my first texture, which is uh, idle 0001, and press open. And I got this guy here, right? See his his picture comes up. Are you with me? Okay, now I want to project it on here, right? So instead of doing it here where I'm at. Right, I'm going to go, might as well, go over to my UV editing window. Here's my UV editor. I'm going to change, first of all, my my game type to Blender game, my, uh, my rendering type, sorry. And I'm going to change this uh, from my shader from solid to material so I can see it. Now, he's already there. If you notice, I haven't, I haven't unwrapped it, but you should see this already, even though I haven't unwrapped them, okay, just by adding a, an, an image. I'm going to go into um, edit mode. So here's edit mode. And now everything is selected. I'm only on the left-hand side where I have my UV window. I'm gonna just take away my numeric pad, and here I'm gonna take away my. I'm toggle off my screen, so I just have this. I can use N for numeric pad, take that away, and T to take this part away. On this side, no, the other side. Just go. Just move your mouse. That's it. Okay. So now I have both things. I want to look at this from the front. So there's my front view, and if you notice, if I go to front, I don't see my front. You press one on the number keypad. I see this. If I, if, I, if I just kind of go over, I see that the top part I have something, but the front I have nothing, right? That's what you should see right now. On the left, I want to load up. I'm going to click this little button down here on the bottom of my screen, and I'm going to load up my image. So here's my image. Make this a little larger so you can see them. That's my actual sprite, if you will, okay? I'm going to deselect all, right? And I want to select, uh, I want to use face select mode, okay? So I'm going to go uh, control, tab, to go to face select mode. Right, this is another easier way to do it. I'm in face like one. I'm gonna select my front face here. Right, here's my front face. And I'm gonna unwrap right my my uh, uh, object here. Okay, so here's my unwrapping. If I select all, let's do all. I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna unwrap, unwrap everything. Right? Now you might say, hey, how come I don't see my images over here? Right? I should see it everywhere right now. Well, there's a couple reasons why we're not seeing it. Let's go back to default mode for a second. Let's go to default. And I'm going to change my thing from here to, to material. Just in default mode. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is under material, let's make this shadeless. That's the first thing. I want to make it shadeless so it looks like this. And the other thing is under texture, if you go to texture, under here, right, you see that it, right now the, the coordinates are generated. We want this coordinates to be uh, uh, UV. Now you see this on UV, right? Take a look. Now the reason why I have my guy there is because I already unwrapped him once. Uh, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. And I'll choose UV map. Um, he's. You should see a white background like this. If I go to my my material, um, if you notice, I'm I'm completely shadeless. So that's why I'm seeing this white background. If I go back now and change this to my UV editing window, let's go to my UV editing window. And if I go to my front view, I see this is my, this guy is my front view guy. But I want to get rid of these other views, right? Because these other views are useless. 
if you're, by the way, if you're seeing it angled, like on the side, you have to go over here, right? First of all, we have to select all on this side, right? And um, what you have to do is flip it. But the, before you do that, I want to re reset all my unwrapping. So I'm going to go on this side here, select all on this side, right? And I'm going to unwrap, reset. This is what you should see right now. You should see the guy on the side here like this. Look, that's what you used to see, right? And I'm going to unwrap, and I'm going to do a smart UV project. Yep. And press OK. Now what you get is this. Take a look. You get all these little cubes here, right? All right, now, over here, I only want to select my front face. So I'm going to Control Tab, make sure I'm in a face mode, and click my front face. That's my front face, right? And now would you say Control B? Control B on this one? Control P. Control P. That's a little bit left on the top. Yeah. That's okay because we're going to fix it. We're just going to go to the top. Uh, this is one way to do it. Look, if you notice on the top, it just it had the bit of the, of the top needs to be uh, faced off. So I'm going to um, deselect all, get to the top, grab this one, use G and Y and bring this up so it matches the top as much as possible. Now this guy, I'm going to, and I'm going to select all again. So I've got this. Look, this guy's still on the side. I want to flip them to the, to the right. That means I gotta I do a, I gotta do a rotate R over here on the left R minus 90. So now it looks like this R minus 90. No, not on that side. On the other side. Want to do it? Make sure your mouse is on the left side. Oh, there we go. You got it. Are you with me? So you have a guy that looks like this now. Oh, are you are you with me? Huh? Okay, well, we'll pause and I'll, I'll come over to you in the, on the break. Okay, so I got this guy, it looks like this now, but he's not transparent. Look, he's got a white background, right? So I'm going to go back to, um, and, and the other thing is, hold on a second, before I do that. On this side, I've got all these other faces that are all messed up, right? So i got to take care of those. So I'm going to click on this. Look, Let's click my face on the top. I see this little cube here. Look, see the cube? I'm going to press G for grab. I'm going to pull this over here to a, to a transparent area. Right now it's a white area. And do the same thing for this one. Drag this one, it's already a transparent area. In the back, I'm going to drag this one, press G, press it into a transparent area. And then same thing with this one, G, press it into a transparent area. And the bottom, G, press it into a transparent area. So what this does is it eliminates the picture. Even though they're still there, it's still wrapped, unwrapped. It's all in the transparent area, so you can't see it. Now the transparent area currently is white. Did you guys, are you with me? So all I see on the top, the bottom, everything is just this big white stuff. The only place I see is pictures on the front. Yeah? Are you with me, Igor? Okay, good. John? No? I'll come up. We'll catch up in a sec. All right, so now I want to go into my, I want to go into default mode, my default view. And what I want to do here in default view is I want to go to my material, scroll all the way down to where it says transparency, click on transparency, and change my alpha value to zero. It's going to make it invisible. Watch, like this. Right? So I've changed my alpha value to zero. You should see the same as me. Right? Now I'm going to go into material. Right? Scroll all the way down. And where it says alpha on the left under diffuse, I'm going to click that on. So now you're going to see them like this. So it's fully transparent. See? Nothing, you don't see anything on the side, the right or the left. Do you see what I see? So now, all right, you've got your first um, uh, texture wrapped on them. Let's add another one. Let's go to here, to material. I'm going to add a new material. And we're going to call this material uh, walk. Um, we're going to use the walk material uh, for both faces, the right and the left but not the, the middle face, all right? So let's try this out. So we're gonna say, uh, I'm gonna, uh, first, select, first of all, I'm gonna select this face, right? And I'm gonna shift select my right face, this face here, shift select. So both those faces, my new state, and I'm going to assign the new material to those two faces. Now if you notice, I'm not clicking on my 
uh, my idle material. I'm clicking on this new material that's not named. I'm going to name this material. First one, I don't have a name for it because I don't have a material. I'm going to click on new material, and I'm going to call this material walk. Right? I've only got the right and the left faces um, selected when I've assigned this material. I also want to make this shadeless. So if you notice now, you should see this kind of thing going on. Look, on the right side and the left side, shadeless. Um, let's also change the, the texture type. So we're going to go up to texture now, the texture button, and I'm going to click new, a new texture, and I'm going to open up a new texture on both these, this material, open, and this time we're going to go and select from my desktop into the 2D game assets, and I'm going to choose the first walk uh, cycle, which is walk 0001, and press OK. Or open. This is my walk. Take a look at him. He's, he's walking, right? Okay, he doesn't appear on this thing right yet because I haven't unwrapped that. Just for preparation purposes, it says coordinates are UV mapped, which is good. I just haven't unwrapped it. For me to unwrap it, I'm just going to press U for unwrap and press unwrap. Okay, and if you notice, it's kind of this weird uh, thing here. Part of him is here and part of him was over here, right? But um, you don't see anything over here. Okay, let's go back to UV editing mode. So I go to UV editing mode, and look, there's my two my two cubes, right? My two faces, right? So I want to go to my right side first, this side here. So whenever I when I spin to the right, so here I am. He's facing me. When I turn to the right, so I'm going to press three for right. It goes to, actually moves to the left. Look, here's front. And when I go to my this side here, this is my uh, right side. Right, and then this this face, the other side, is control this way. Well, that's control back. Sorry, uh, control. This is my other side. So this is my left side, right, and this is my right side, and this is my front side. So whenever I turn, when I turn right or left, as an example, right, I want to see different faces. Like this side here is only going to be shown when I'm on my right side or left side. So let's. Let's move them. Let's rotate this guy. So I'm looking at my um, a left, uh, right side here. Here's my right side, and here's my uh, my square. I'm going to press Control P, right, to change the size of my square all the way up here. And if you notice, the reason why he's not wrapping, unwrapping on this side, is because, oops. If you look over here, I've unwrapped the wrong side. Here's my. I've chosen the wrong one. That's okay. They're both the same anyway. And let me just adjust this. I'm going to press A and then B to just hit the, the top side and then press G and then Y to kind of pull this up a little bit so it kind of unwraps on the top. Might as well do the other side too since I've got this one. Do select all. And I'm going to go to the other side, choose this side, and do the same thing Control and P. And then B select the top, and then G and Y, and pull the top up so it's matching. And now I have both sides that look the same. I'm going to rotate um, one one way, and the other way, the other the other way. Let's try this out. So I'm going to rotate this one. So I'm going to select this one. I'm select it all. I'm going to rotate it uh, 90 degrees, or sorry, rotate it minus 90 degrees. So this is where he's going to be running to this side. And this is going to be running to the other side, but there's a problem here. Select this one, right? So here's my selection. That's control tab for face select mode. And I'm going to rotate this guy here. Rotate this guy um, uh, minus 90 again. So rotate minus 90. Right. But the thing is, they can't both look the same way. Because look, this guy looks this way, and this guy looks this way. He's got to look the other way. How do I flip this guy to the other side? Anybody? I want to flip this guy. How do I flip him? Well, I know what to do. I've got to scale them minus one 
scale of minus one. Was that? No, it's not a mirror. I got to scale this guy, this this size right here. I'm telling you what to do. Minus one across the y uh, z axis. Yeah. But you have to rotate on the left, the left side. You have to make sure you select the right, the the uh, um, the right face. You may have, you may have not selected the right face. I'll come over and I'll help you in a second. Okay. So how am I going to uh, do this? I'm going to scale this one, right? Uh, minus one, right? Along the um, uh, y-axis. Okay, let's try that again. So scale minus one along the x-axis. There we go. That's the one. So now look, I've got. I'm going this way. When I turn this way to the right. And when I go this way, I go this way. I got both those guys looking in different positions. So depending on where he's going, if I go this way, he starts running this way. If I go this way, um, I turn to the right, he goes this way. If I turn to the left, he runs that way, right? All I've done was uh, I've just flipped him with a scale minus one across the x-axis. Okay, now when I've done that, I still got to take away his whiteness because right now he looks very white. I'm going to make him transparent. And I'm going to do that by going back to um, the default view. And I'm going to select, I've got the material select this. I'm going to go to material mode and go to all the way down until I hit transparency. I'll do the same thing. Turn my alpha transparencies to nothing. And then I'm going to go to texture mode. I'm going to go all the way down and click transparency on on the side. So now you've got complete transparency on both sides. And I've got my character. Now remember, this cube is a cube, right? So if I go to tab, and now he's in object mode, right? I can do everything with him like I normally would with a cube, right? Which means I have collisions. I can control him. I can do everything I normally can. One more change before we pause, and then I'll come over and make sure everyone get, gets this, right? Um, I want to make sure that the UV mapping is correct. So that's one thing I want to do. And the other thing I'd like to try and do and by the way, I'll upload this to GitHub so you can always download it. If you're not caught up, I'll upload it now. You can always download the blend file. Okay. Um, with, with this one is my camera. My camera right now, by default, when I look at my camera mode, right? So first of all, I got to look at my camera. So here's my camera. Right, this is deselected now. I've selected my camera in the outliner. My camera, by default, when I look at it on the bottom, right, or if I scroll up or whatever, um, it, it's cool and all, right? It gives me the ability for me to look at stuff. But I want to look at this actual camera object right here. Now, there's different objects here. Look, take a look at this. I have perspective, orthographic, and panoramic. I want to have my camera look at things in orthographic mode from now on. I also want to change my, my camera. So I'm looking at my front view, right? So here's orthographic mode. This is my, my ortho mode. Look at him now. He looks like, like he's just a character. He's not a guy... That's sitting on. Um, yeah, he's pretty good. He's not a guy that's sitting on this thing, but my camera's way over here. I want my camera to be here, so I got to change my camera. So I'm going to go um, view, right? And I want to go cameras, or sorry, align, align view, um, align active camera to view, right? And I'm going to kind of, I'm going to zoom in here so I can see my guy a little better. There's my dude. And you see there's a bit of bit of his hair I got right down here when I did my scaling. Right? So I'm gonna fix that up. I'm gonna fix that up by going into the cube itself. So I'm gonna click the cube. And I'm gonna go back into before I continue into UV editing mode. Right? And what I want to do is click on the middle cube, which is this one. So I'm gonna go into edit mode, click this middle face. Sorry, it's hard to select them. There it is. His middle face is selected. And if I'm not wrong, right, uh, I got to also select, this is the, the face that I got going on, right? Uh, I got to make sure that he's capturing most of the background. I think I'm a little bit off with everything. So I'm going to click Control, I'm going to select All, Control P. And I got I to redo this guy a little bit. And when I do Control P, what I want to do is I want to select everything, and then when I rotate, I got to make sure that I rotate correctly. So first, before I do this, I'm going to rotate now. So I'm going to go 
rotate minus 90. Oops. He's actually flipped completely. So rotates minus 180. That's the first thing I got to do. And then I'm going to fix them by dragging this piece over to the side. So I don't have that bottom piece there. I'm just fixing them up a little bit. And I'll save, I'll put this on Blender, on, uh, on GitHub for you in a second. So go across the Y axis. Uh -oh, sorry. G across the X axis. There it goes. Okay, so when I go back to my default view, just wanted to fix that up a little bit. So it doesn't look messed up. All right. If I go back to my camera view and I go into um, my regular mode, now it's like him. It looks perfect. Take a look. He's a perfect character. There's like no, um, you don't see any background. Um, and we're going to add in all the stuff for him um, in the next movie. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this guy. File, save. And I'm going to save, in, save him in my GitHub repository. So I'm going to go to games. Sorry. I'm going to go to desktop. And I'm going to go to my 2D game mode. But before I do that, actually, one thing I should do, a couple things, sorry. Um, I got to save my, my texture, yeah, because otherwise you won't get my texture, right? So, and I'll pass in my, you already have my texture, my assets, but I want to pass in my texture so that it does things properly. I'm going to go back in here into my texture, right? Here's my idle texture for the front one, right? And I'm going to click this, save it here, and then if I spin it so that I see my right and my left, so I'm going to go into edit mode, spin this one. Now it's my texture. Uh, this texture should have a walk texture. This is the walk. I should probably rename this thing. And this one, I also want to save this one as well. So it's part of our, our file. Otherwise, we're going to have big issues. Tab out, go into front view, go into camera view. And then now I'm confident that I can uh, save this thing. And you're going to have everything. File, save. And I'm going to go into my desktop. And I'm going to go into a 2D game. Oops. 2D game into my assets. Actually, you know what? I'll put it up out of assets in here and then save Blender file as um, we'll call this like main, we'll call this the main Blender file, main.blend and save. Okay, so in my, uh, in order for me to shoot this up to GitHub, I'm going to do a list. And if you notice, I've got my main.blend. I'm going to so git add dot. And uh, this is the main character, right? Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this up to you guys by going git push origin master, which should send, oh wait, uh, everything up to date, sorry. Uh, git uh, minus m um, sorry, git commit minus m and I'll say uh, added uh, main character. Now I'll go git uh, push origin master. And that'll push that main stuff up. So when I go into git and I go back out to 2D game, you should have my main.blend file. Check it. So if you want to use my main blend file instead of using uh, your own because you messed up, you should be able to download and install git, uh, install my main blend file, and you're up to date with me. And that, let me pause there while I go and check to see if you guys got everything going. 